I'm an, an environmental lawyer, and I broadly specialize in the areas of uh, global environmental uh, constitutionalism, human rights in the environment, law in the Anthropocene, and earth system law. So my research focuses um, at a very general level on environmental law and very specifically on law in the Anthropocene, um, which enables me to interrogate how law could be reimagined for the purpose of addressing the planetary crisis in the Anthropocene. So I'm currently involved with several projects. Um, I think the main one is uh, my project on Earth system law, which is a new legal paradigm that I introduced in 2019 in a publication with my colleague, Professor Rakyun Kim at Utrecht University. And in this paper and a range of other subsequent papers, um, we are proposing a new legal paradigm um, with the view to allow scholars and, and um, <clears throat> other social scientists, political scientists, including to reimagine law for the purpose of the Anthropocene. So our basic hypothesis and thesis is that um, the Earth system and Earth system complexity should be the main um, origin of orientation for law, and it should direct how we think about changes to law within the Anthropocene epoch. Um, so within the larger framework of Earth system law, we propose uh, several pathways, future pathways on how to rethink law, both in terms of its epistemologies, but also its ontological and ethical orientations. And um, um, th th there are certainly a range of proposals that we've had, and 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 uh, some of these also relate to how to extend law's protective umbrella to the non-human world, uh, also to future generations. So that is the one major project that I'm currently involved with, and um, I'm very happy to say that the um, the uh, Earth System Law research agenda has um, been finding significant traction um, within the um, scientific community, um, and it's been taken up by various scholars, um, often also with significant critique, uh, which is, of course is, is a very good thing, um, and we encourage critique and criticism as well. Um, the other area that I uh, focus on is um, is uh, climate litigation uh, also, which of course is a very hot topic, um, no pun intended. Uh, climate uh, climate change is one of the most pressing problems uh, and challenges facing humanity. And climate litigation is one of the novel ways in which one can address, of course, um, several deficiencies that characterize global climate governance. Um, and my work in this area focuses, focuses on uh, climate litigation at the planetary scale, but certainly also um, at the regional and African and South African context uh, as well. And one final project that I could mention is one that I am currently doing with um, Professor Johan Rockström at the Potsdam Institute for Climate Research. Um, where we, um, and when I say we, it is, it is a team of 23 authors consisting of political scientists, lawyers, and earth system scientists, some of them leading authorities in the field, where we aim to make an argument and a case for redefining the global commons um, and to say that we need a new conception of the global commons, which we call the planetary commons, that would include all Earth's critical biophysical regulating systems. Um, and based on this proposal, we ad advance an argument where we say that these planetary commons would require better um, governance arrangements. Uh, and we are in the process of defining uh, both the concept of the planetary commons um, and trying to, to uh, distill and further explain and identify uh, 
the sort of governance arrangements that one would need to govern the planetary commons. It's always difficult to say what the impact or significance of one's own research is, and that's perhaps best left to people um, other than yourself to define. But I would at least like to believe and hope that my research, um, because it is fundamentally in, of an interdisciplinary nature, um, offers uh, environmental lawyers certainly um, an opportunity to engage also with um, fundamental forms of earth system science and political science, um, whereas it um, conversely would offer non-lawyers also an opportunity to engage with the legal aspects of earth system transformation. And I would therefore like to believe that the research that I do might have some impact within this interdisciplinary domain. 